Okay, this is part three of the 48 count uh, matchbox cases. We've opened a 997B, a 997C, and here is a 999J. So I'm assuming this is the J case. My guess is that the assortment in this case is going to be different than the last one. So uh, let's just open it up. I could be wrong. Ooh, fun. Okay. All right. This is also a 2008 case, but definitely a different assortment. So we'll zoom in. I see some good stuff here, I think. All right, let's just get right to it. So these are from the 2007. So I'll um, just first off the. Hopefully you can see that on the card right here at the top, 2007. Um, so I, again, I forget on these court case assortments, but, um, maybe someone can fill me in, but this is a, appears to be a 2007 case and yeah, full of really good stuff. So, uh, there's the tractor that might've debuted that year. Um, and two of the Austin FX4 taxis, the British taxi. And this looks to be a late... 2007 case. The Ford Transit SWAT van. The Highway Hauler, which is loosely based on an Isuzu truck. And then another tractor. Look how things are packaged with all the little pieces, making sure everything's protected. I showed you the last color of the Subaru. That was the that white version I showed you was the second color. This is the first color of the of the Subaru, the debut. And this case came with two of them, so I'm assuming this is the case it debuted in. Love this casting, as you can probably imagine. 70 El Camino. Once again, these cases were full of current classics. Okay. Alfa Romeo. I don't even want to try and pronounce it. I can always write it. Giulia. I don't know. Sprint GTA. But here's the story behind this. This is the recolor in white. That debuted in red. And from what I understand, when the um, when the approval was made from Alpha with Alpha and Mattel. They were approved to do various colors, but things changed over time. Here, we'll move this down so you can look at it while I talk about it. Things changed, and the uh, <clears throat> and the new licensors required that the that since this model only came in red and white in real life back in the '60s, that that's the only way that Mattel could do it um, was in red or white. They tried to do a metallic red. They got in trouble. They tried to do more of a uh, a pearl white. They got in trouble for that one too and had to change it back to flat white. So there were several red versions and several white versions plus the 10-pack uh, version in metallic red and a um, and I think they that pearl version that was an early release and then the gathering model which had a full racing livery on it that I don't think would have been approved later anyway. So that's why you saw it and that's why that casting was retired because they could not do any more colors on it. So there were talk of, there was talk of it being modified to a junior. I don't know where that's at now. RDRS 6 Avant. That debuted in 2006. There's the 2007 version. And the Lexus GS430, another model that I think people will start rediscovering.
Ford Lightning F-150 came with two of those and then the first color of the smart car you could find this with the lace wheels on it too but that was I think mostly overseas sixty five Ford Mustang that's the debut so in the earlier video I talked about the yellow version to be in the recolor that's the debut of the Shelby GT500 and the Volkswagen Beetle taxi that's a model I'd like to see again and is that a Mexico livery I think loosely based Corvette ZR1, that's the debut color for that one. Lotus Evora, also a debut color. Now something interesting about that, notice it says 08 Lotus on it. That's because the car had not been named when Matchbox finished this. Matchbox actually was commissioned by Lotus to do this replica and it was uh, when they debuted it at the London Motor Show or the Auto Show there was the Matchbox replica to give out to the press and to other attendees and because Matchbox and, Ma and they wanted it to be released at the same time um, in stores that the Evora was uh, was released and so Matchbox made it but didn't know the name of the car and maybe Evora, the Lotus hadn't decided on what color to give it or the I'm sorry the name to give it so that's why it's the 08 Lotus on this card a little bit later on Obviously, the uh, the proper name was was put on there, but um, yeah, when it debuted, that's uh, that's what it said. You can find them rare. There's a rare, rare version of that exact model in a plexiglass, um, and uh, I have one somewhere. I'll have to show it off. But uh, and I'll do that another day. Another one of the Corvettes, Lincoln Navigator. I like it with those wheels kind of suits it for the era and then the Bentley which this is probably my favorite version in white again I know in 2000 was it 2006 or 2007 it debuted in silver so I'm still on the fly trying to figure that out I can probably figure it out later but get to them. Yeah, so those are, I mean, the Lotus is a 2008 debut. So these are 2008 models. They say 2007 on the card. Again, I'll figure it out. Chevy Silverado. Two of those. And then that uh, wonderful off-road rider one that really just doesn't need to exist. Garbage truck. I always like this version, but it's probably got too much metal in it now. Two of those. And then the Guzzler mini tanker whatever they decide to put on the card at the time. Okay. I think we saw again, I'm so lost on what what is what what is what. If this is a recolor of that last one that was kind of a light metallic I don't know, kind of an aqua color. Here's the orange of the Mercedes CLS, two of those in there. Oh, to have Mercedes back. Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe one day. Range Rover. In yellow. I don't know if that's the recolor of the gold. I believe that's the recolor of the original of the uh, of the Cadillac Sedan DeVille in red. 
PVR Tuscan S in all of its British glory. I love it with those wheels. And a model that might have been a little bit before its time, the Nissan 350Z, which is now wildly popular among the uh, JDM set, because this one has a Nismo Nismo light livery on it. You can see the stripes there on top. This one was not. This one was just used to hang and hang and hang. Now, like the Datsun 510 and everything else from that. There's one of your more popular matchbox cars from that era now. Nice to see it. Jeep Wrangler. And then two of the matchbox 4x4. That's a Zamac. Unpainted. This was my favorite version. I have a variation of this one with black wheels on it. And there were two on that one. And this is sort of Honda Ridgeline. Okay, this is definitely a 2008 case, I don't know. What does it say? Yeah. Celsius 2007, but maybe early on. Desert Thunder, which seemed to be in almost every five pack and every assortment. And then a really nice version of the Jeep Rescue concept. I don't know if we're going to see that as part of the new Jeep line. I can't remember offhand. That's coming out shortly. Okay, we're towards the end here. Matchbox Original, the Baja Bandit. Dune Buggy. Two versions of that one. Then another off-roader, you can see the off-roaders were being made and then fast forward a couple years and they got a little off-road happy. Okay, two versions of the tractor plow. This was a strange one because it had no plow. I remember this version. Don't know why. I think they were wanted to focus more on the salt distributing side of this model, I guess. I don't know, but no plow. That made a few people unhappy. Little did they know that was a minor thing compared to what was coming. And here is the 63 Cadillac Hearse. Debuted in black. This was, I think, the second version. Maybe there was a version in between in white. Interesting story about this one. I'll keep it short. This was based on Felix Holst's car. Felix, who used to be, who was running Matchbox at the time of these releases, and then became VP of Wheels and has since left Mattel, but this was based on his car. And this was being distributed worldwide, but a few of few countries didn't like a hearse being in a toy line, and so this was eliminated from the basic range. And then we saw it in the uh, Lesney line a little bit later on, and it had to be specifically distributed to certain areas. But yeah, there that might be the last time it was ever in a in a, in a basic range is this silver version right here. It also came in a variation, had kind of a flat gray over the um, over the back wheel flap and then it uh, and on the uh, little decoration right here on the back and another one seemed almost unpainted but uh, this one appears to have the paint hard to tell there but it's there anyway that is the 2008 I'm gonna call it um, 999 J case some really nice models in that one um, again they'll be available at wheel collectors there's a link down below so enjoy that. Thanks guys. We'll talk to you later.